name is Lisa Barnes, and I'm a senior development scientist here at NewSkin. Today in this science presentation, I'm gonna spend some time telling you about our adaptogenic science, which focuses on taking plants that adapt to their harsh environments and applying their adaptive strategies to skin. Specifically, we tested a blend of these plant extracts to prove that they help the skin better respond to oxidative stress, which comes in many forms, and we're gonna discuss that shortly. We test this by performing both in vitro studies, which are studies performed in an artificial environment, such as a test tube, and in vivo studies, which are studies performed with actual people. Let's start by talking about stress and stressors to the skin. Typically, we only think of skin damage being caused by the sun through UV light. However, there are many other ways that the skin can be stressed and damaged. Both intrinsic or internal and extrinsic or external sources can cause oxidative stress to the skin, which can lead to aging. Extrinsic sources of oxidative stress include UVA, UVB, visible light, infrared, environmental pollution, and lifestyle factors. And these lifestyle factors include diet, lack of sleep, etc. Intrinsic sources of oxidative stress include hormonal factors and chronological aging. Regardless of the source, oxidative stress impacts the integrity and the look of skin. And some of those characteristic effects of skin stressors are dullness, inflammation, breakouts or acne, loss of moisture or barrier function, discoloration, and lines and wrinkles. New Skin took scientific insight from the plant world to help combat the effects of oxidative stress on the skin. We looked for ingredients that would provide stress resistance and promote cellular homeostasis and would in turn improve the skin's ability to adapt to stress through controlling the ever-changing effects of oxidative stress. Essentially, we looked for plants that adapted to their environments and looked to harness their adaptive properties to help the skin better adapt to the different stressors in life. We identified a blend of five adaptogenic plants that grow in extreme environments. These plants survive in environments, including where it's extremely cold year round, in the desert where it's hot and dry with little to no rainfall, in soil that is polluted, and lastly, in high altitudes where soil nutrition is low. This blend includes arctic root, marl root, Siberian ginseng, chaga mushroom, and the resurrection plant or Selaginella lepidophylla extract. We chose this particular blend because each extract goes through an enzymatic process, which breaks it down to make it more bioavailable to the skin. The blend was also shown to increase heat shock protein expression, which are a family of proteins that are produced by cells in response to exposure to stressful conditions, the blend also regulates inflammation and glycation of the skin, which is a fancy word for sugars causing damage to structural proteins such as collagen and elastin. So once we identified this adaptogenic blend, the next step was to confirm that the plant extracts were still efficacious when combined with other ingredients found in different formula types. Initially, we performed multiple in vitro tests to confirm the adaptogenic blend's ability to impact key skin processes associated with stress and gene expression. The first in vitro study looked at a common skin process when responding to stress, specifically glycation leading to the formation of advanced glycation end products, or AGEs. AGEs are markers of a linkage between proteins and sugars, and they result in brown spots, loss of elasticity, and photoaging. This study's objective was to look at three model formulas, a serum, a day cream, and a night mask that contained this adaptogenic blend and see how they inhibited AGE formation, which would show an improved response to stress. The results show significant inhibition of AGEs with the night mask formula performing exceptionally well, inhibiting 42% of AGEs. All of the tested formulas performed as well or significantly better than data that had been previously generated on the blend itself, confirming the activity of this blend in formulas. The next in vitro test performed was a gene expression PCR array that used internal hormonal stress to induce a response. The same three model formulas were used and overall we saw a downregulation of P53, which is a key stress gene marker, and downregulation of pro-inflammatory markers IL-1 and TNF-alpha. 
all of our model formulas impacted these three genes, though there was some variation in the amount of downregulation of each gene based on the different formulas, which was expected. The results signal the regulation of the stress response, inflammation, and support for the immune response to overcome stress. Our final in vitro test was another PCR array, but this time using external stressors, UVB exposure, and diesel particulate matter, which was used as a stand-in for air pollution. We also included a fourth formula, an eye cream, and the three model formulas used in the previous studies. Overall, we saw a positive impact on the skin's defensive response to overcome external stressors. For the eye cream and the day cream, we saw upregulation of the antioxidant gene HMOX1, some members of the heat shock protein family of genes, and an anti-apoptotic marker BCL2L1. The marker IL1B was also downregulated. We observed an upregulation of a heat shock protein family gene for the serum and night mask, CRIAB, and downregulation of pro inflammation markers, IL1B and NF kappa B1A. Overall, the results confirmed our hypothesis regarding the adaptogenic blend having a positive effect on the skin and its response to stress. Even though we saw great results with our in vitro studies, we wanted to clinically test the blend's ability to work in model formulas to help the skin respond to stress. The in vivo protocol on human volunteers evaluated the serum, day cream, and night mask to determine if they decreased oxidative stress as measured by sunburn cell development following exposure to solar simulated radiation, which was a stand-in for UVB rays in healthy volunteers. The model formulas were applied to a site on the buttocks twice daily for eight weeks. Each subject also had an untreated site on the buttocks. After eight weeks, the subjects returned to have the sites irradiated and then returned 24 hours later for evaluation. Dermo spectrophotometer readings and photographs were obtained for all sites to determine if there was a reduction in redness between the control site and the treated site. Punch biopsies were then taken of each site and sent to a lab for analysis to look at the development of sunburn cells in the control versus the treated sites. Interestingly, three formulas achieved successful reduction of the treated site's redness versus the control site, showing a reduction in oxidative stress when treating the skin with the model formulas containing the adaptogenic blend. Also, all three formulas had a positive effect on the reduction of oxidative stress as measured by the development of sunburn cells following exposure to UVB rays. The sites we treated with the model formulas with the adaptogenic blend had a lower sunburn cell count, showing that the formulas had an adaptogenic function. Of course, stress is caused by more than just UV exposure. It's a combination of both internal and external stressors. New Skin took insight from plants' adaptogenic abilities and scientifically tested a specific blend to see its impact on the skin to adapt to stress. Both the in vitro and in vivo testing results have shown that this adaptogenic blend positively impacts the skin's ability to adapt to its environment.